Okay, thank you. First of all, it is a privilege to be here today with all of you. Uh, my name is John Blumenthal. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Cloud Physics. So who is Cloud Physics? Cloud Physics is a company dedicated to delivering to the IT industry what every other industry actually has at its core for not only how it operates, but how it also produces products. IMS it does this for healthcare with massive data and collective intelligence to improve healthcare as an industry, as well as a provider and consumer. Media is serviced by Nielsen, which uses massive data to once again provide collective intelligence into how products are being consumed and how the market actually operates in an efficient way from a producer's perspective. Food processing has Symphony IRI, massive data set based out of Chicago that actually can tell you what the value of the placement of a potato chip at a certain level in your grocery store in Pocatello, Idaho in December will actually produce a predictive outcome for that producer as well as the consumer. Each one of these industries has at its heart IT. All the things we create, all the things we consume as participants in the IT industry have made that happen. The irony is this though, the IT industry doesn't have this for itself. There is no massive data set or collective intelligence providing <coughs> both the vendors as well as the consumers how products are consumed, how they will behave given certain combinations, how you will see behavior of a particular configuration that you're responsible for running in a mission critical process. Cloud Physics exists to bring to IT what exists in every other industry. So that's the grand vision of the company inspired by what we've actually enabled <coughs> during our time at VMware. Um, we are enabling this for IT. So Cloud Physics had much humbler beginnings though than an ambition to become a data set for an entire industry. The humble, <coughs> the humility that really began this began with a set of questions some of you probably asked me directly at some point in my six or seven years at VMware, which was, John, you're the director of storage product management at VMware for ESX. Please tell me <coughs> how many virtual disks or virtual machines will fit on that data store? Very simple question, very difficult to answer. And the consequences of not knowing that answer are pretty dramatic. As you get deeper into virtualization, which is really the underpinnings of a cloud infrastructure, you end up <coughs> actually incurring things that you just don't see. Waste, risk, and you spend a lot of your time and energy and personal equity in trying to resolve these problems that result from not having the answers to such primitive questions. So cloud physics began from those very humble origins in an attempt to try to answer that and discovering that we were not building that inside of VMware. We were not building a predictive capability to really help users see how the physics of things actually operated that we had created as an engineering and product management team. So as a result, uh, my co-founder, Irfan Ahmad, and myself, we set about trying to figure out how to solve this problem, and the formation of cloud physics came about. But it came about in a very deliberate way. We looked at the systems management market, including what was being developed inside of VMware, <laughs> and we realized that systems management is broken. It has many of its roots in the client server world and those really haven't changed in the way that you actually see and operate a virtualized infrastructure, the, your, your actual cloud infrastructure. <coughs> so the approach that we've taken <coughs> is actually reflected in the team that we have deliberately assembled that's up here on the slide in that we believed our solution it really combines four elements that you really do not find in other uh, operations management platforms. And this is what we are just bringing to market. And the first begins with heavy, deep domain expertise in resource management. You cannot go and take general algorithms and apply them to the systems management problem. You have to be deep in this. You have to understand the data structures. You have to understand the dynamics of how resources interact with one another. A general algorithm is not going to provide you that relationship between CPU and networking and storage. <coughs> the models that you construct from that deep knowledge can actually be 
uh, derived and used with a technique that is actually applied in almost every other industry in modeling and simulation and analysis. If you go to the back end systems of Google, LinkedIn, <coughs> and all the other really large scale systems, they're being run with a similar type of technique, taking simulation and modeling, which were EDA uh, uh, constructs and techniques, and applying them to massive scale infrastructures. We believe the same can be brought to virtualization administrators. But to make both this domain expertise and modeling and simulation operative in a, from a product's perspective, you have to sit it on top of a massive data set that can only exist if, in fact, you've collected data from a large number of operational environments and <coughs> use modern parallel processing techniques that the so-called big data industry have actually um, enabled. So our team also consists of uh, a set of data scientists uh, also drawn from this domain that you typically find uh, here in Silicon Valley in some of the massive back-end systems. <coughs> All of this in combination uh, with our platform is delivered in a SaaS form factor. And so if you look around the industry <coughs> in different levels of uh, operational management, like in application performance management, you can see this technique at play already with companies like New Relic or App Dynamics. You can see it at the server level with companies like Splunk who are also starting to take a SaaS oriented approach. You can see it down below in the storage domain with things like InfoSight from Nimble Storage. There's nothing at the hypervisor level that does this yet. Cloud Physics is the first to do this, to actually collect data from the hypervisor across a massive worldwide data set and apply <coughs> analytics and simulation using the domain expertise so that the folks assembled in the team here to actually produce a predictive capability in the way you design and operate a system. And we'll talk about some of the use cases here in some of the demonstrations. So this is, this is core to understanding who cloud physics is. The roots of the company are in a simple question. The answer to this requires very specialized uh, approaches and people who were responsible for the construction of the ESX hypervisor to begin with, <coughs> as well as pulling in domain expertise from other intersecting domains, uh, like you see here with one of our co-founders, Jim Kleckner, who is also one of the co-founders of Cadence back in the day, or Zhao Chun Li, who uh, also came from the same type of modeling and simulation background um, from Google. Let's talk about the problem really quickly. <coughs> At a macro level, once you create uh, a virtualized infrastructure, you have enabled mobility and encapsulation. You've enabled density in a way that did not exist uh, in its preceding form in the client-server world. This type of dynamic capability in the infrastructure allows for new types of use cases, actually, the same types of use cases with different aspects of execution that the mobility especially requires. And the systems management approaches that have taken on this dynamic data center have remained rooted in a static and siloed world. They are not up to the challenge of what's happening in infrastructure today. And this is a new problem <coughs> that the management stack today simply cannot handle because of its static nature. As new problems arise, for example, those problems are not addressed in the software that you've been issued by your vendor. You have to either go back to the vendor and wait for a product cycle to deliver that to your product, or you do what 80 to 90% of the users do, which is end up in a Microsoft productivity tool called Excel to actually manage and understand your environment. We believe other industrial processes <coughs> don't rely on Excel to actually run something industrial and heavyweight. So this disconnection between the dynamic data center and the static management stack has got to be broken down, and this is what cloud physics is, is attempting to solve here in its, our new entry to the market. <coughs> At a very high level, what does this look like? Consolidation is why we all got into VMware. It's why VMware is such a, a, a radically successful company. And it's all an attempt to get more and more utilization out of an environment. But if we're going to make progress as the people responsible for these infrastructures to deliver 
greater value, greater return on investment, greater capability in our jobs, we have to actually climb up this capability above automation into qualities of service and service level agreements. The problem here is that things have gotten so complex, even for small environments, that you can't really see what's going on and it's humanly infeasible now <coughs> to actually manage with the kind of utility that you have an ambition for. You, it just can't be done. Excel will not cut it. So to actually achieve these higher levels of capability that we all strive for, you have to turn it over to a machine. You have to turn it over to a form of analytics and predictive capability that go with it in order to deliver these higher levels of capability in an infrastructure that you're responsible for. So this is a holy grail. The only way to kind of get to this, to ascend to these types of levels is really through data. And it is this data platform that we're gonna to talk to you about here today that um, is key to the realization of what we think is the entire industri industrial management problem we have in virtualization and cloud. So <laughs> I'll just summarize it with a really simple statement, which is we're in the business of taking the guesswork out of what you do. We are here to provide analytical insights and predictions that just have not been part of your daily operations or your design. And it's done through this data platform uh, in a way that is happening actually higher in the stack, in the application space. It's starting to happen a little bit lower in the stack, but it's not happening at the hypervisor level. And, and this is the space that cloud physics occupies.